Come on in, guys. Please in. All people in the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here this morning. Uh, I'm really proud to stand here today with Pride and members of Pride uh, in order to make this announcement. A few weeks ago, the Pride St. Louis Board announced that SLMPD officers, uniformed officers, would not be allowed in this year's Pride Parade uh, in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Uh, I've been in ongoing conversations with Pride and for a few weeks and have expressed my view that exclusion uh, of our police or frankly of anyone is not in the spirit of our city. Today, after a lot of conversation and consideration, Pride announced that uniformed officers will again be welcome to walk in the parade this year as they have in the past. Like all professions, police are friends, relatives, allies, and members of the LGBTQIA community. Thankfully, the world has made a lot of progress in the last 50 years, and today we look forward to the future. Continuing to include police in the parade helps to build trust, helps to build understanding, helps to build respect, and helps to build inclusion. And for that, we're very uh, appreciative of this inclusive decision. Pride and the police have worked together for decades, really, on this parade and on the events of uh, Pride Weekend here in St. Louis. And they will continue to do that, of course. So uh, thank you all for being here. I think this is a, an exciting announcement, a good announcement in the best interest of our, of our city. And I want to introduce today, we have just a couple of speakers. I want to introduce today Jordan Braxton, who's going to um, also make a few comments. Jordan? Thank you. Kind of hold. Good morning. Um, my name is Jordan Braxton, the Director of Diversity and Inclusion for Pride St. Louis. On the eve of the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, we admit that there is still have an enormous amount of work to do to ensure that every member of our St. Louis LGBTQIA community feels respected, honored, and included, especially our transgender members and community. As we move forward towards a safer, more inclusive St. Louis, we look forward to working with the mayor, the city of St. Louis, to provide diversity and inclusion training, continue conversation, meetings, and working together for a better community. We concluded after months and weeks of lengthy discussions and debate and also listen to our community that we will welcome LGBTQIA police and allies to walk in uniform in the 2019 Pride Fest Parade June 30th downtown at Soldiers Memorial. We are dedicated to making sure that all LGBT community feel safe and respected and are looking forward to building lasting relationships with Mayor Krusen the City of St. Louis, public safety, and law enforcement. Thank you, and now I'm gonna turn it over to Judge Edwards. Thank you very much. Many of our police officers in the City of St. Louis will fall into the category of LGBTQI+, and some in the trans community. We support our police officers, and I am elated that they will have an opportunity to participate in uniform. We look forward to an ongoing conversation to make sure that we improve all relations with our police officers as well as our entire community. So thank you all very much. And again, on behalf of all of the police officers in the city of St. Louis, I want to thank the Pride Board for giving us the opportunity to participate in one of the best parades in the city of St. Louis. Um, we listen to the community, and we have decided that it's an opportunity for change, that um, going forward, um, we believe that there is much work to be done, but many people in our community still feel unsafe, 
and targeted and marginalized by the systems that are here to protect us. So we're here to make change and move forward. You talked about the debate. I know it may be a little difficult in a few words, but mm -hmm. can you kind of sum up the two different sides as far as the debate and what was candy about? Well, we have a very passionate board, as you can see. Um, so we talked and we decided that, um, that Pride St. Louis is committed to continue the conversations with the city of St. Louis, especially law enforcement, and make sure that all groups in our community can work together and ensure cooperation and improvement for the members of our community. And could you just elaborate on the reasoning of the, uh, behind the original decision, the mayoral route to do it? Uh, because it's the, the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, and we all know the Stonewall riots were started in um, New York City on a night that people got fed up, especially our marginalized trans community got fed up and fought back with the police because there were a number of raids. And we're taking this opportunity to build on that and move forward and do education and training with all members of our community so that we can get together and have one cohesive, safe, included St. Louis. Any idea how many years in the past the uniformed police been marching in the parade? Um, this is our 40th anniversary mm -hmm. of Pride St. Louis, so it's been 40 years. Yes, yes. I was there at the very first one. As a society, I guess we're making steps forward. So, what would you say as far as how much more we have to go? Oh, we all know and we recognize there's a lot of hard work. So, through education and communication, we can build bridges to move forward and be those agents of change that this city so desperately needs. Any estimate on how many uh, people are in the LGBTQ community within the uh, first responder community? Um, that I don't have the statistic for, and I don't want to speak on something that I'm not knowledgeable of. Any other questions? Seeing none, I'll turn it back over to her mayorship. Thank you, Your Honor, for giving us this time Thank to speak. You. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you all. I will. Can can we uh, take a minute here and and? and dismiss them. Okay. Is there anybody else who? Me? Jordan, Jordan J O R D A N Braxton B R A X T O N. I'm director of diversity and inclusion of Pride St. Louis. We will. Can we have one second? Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate you being here. You can stay if you want or not. I know that you two are very much interested in law and order. And we had somewhat of a seismic development yesterday, but the special grand jury came out and not only uh, indicted a member of Kim Gardner's team in the uh, Dragon's case, but made many critical mentions of her of knowing that this person was uh, lying under oath but not saying anything to correct that. So it just raises the question about going forward, do you think there's some question about the You know, I would not speculate on that. This is an ongoing legal matter, as uh, clearly uh, we've read about in the paper. So I, I'm not going to speculate about any outcomes there. What, what is your reaction to the news in, this, in the indictment that she knew that somebody working for her was lying under oath and she didn't say, hey, wait a minute, the truth is this? Um, that, that's in the indictment, and that'll all come out as this progresses further. Well, Judge, do you have any, any reaction to this? I mean, going forward, you work with her a lot. Well, of course, I, I have worked with uh, Ms. Gardner for, for many years. Uh, as a judge uh, for 25 years, uh, it's probably the very first time that I've ever seen uh, this level of, of involvement uh, with uh, prosecutors as it relates to depositions. And so what we will do, this is, uh, is a case of first impression uh, in the city of St. Louis, and we'll wait and we'll see uh, how it turns out. Well, I, I'm always concerned uh, uh, any time a member of the bar uh, uh, is, is questioned. Uh, however, uh, we will wait uh, to make uh, uh, our final decisions with respect to what, what has happened, uh, and I think that that's only fair. Judge, can you elaborate what you said this level of involvement in prosecution? What do you mean? Well, in 25 years, I have never seen uh, uh, an indictment uh, following uh, a misstatements, lies, or perjuries uh, during depositions. And so uh, I believe that this would probably, uh, if you do your research, you'll find that it's a first impression case. Judge Officer uh, Milton Green filed a suit against the city. Uh, first of all, we'd like to weigh in on that one way or another. 
well, you, you're asking me to weigh in, so I will weigh in. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm always uh, disappointed when, when mistakes are made, uh, when uh, officers uh, uh, are uh, uh, alleged to have been reckless and careless. Uh, we don't know that yet. Uh, I do know that he was hurt, and I knew that his family uh, uh, has been uh, 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 devastated as a result of his inability uh, to perform as a police officer. So what we will do, we will wait uh, to see uh, uh, what uh, happens. Uh, we've not had a lot of conversation with uh, Officer uh, Green. Uh, the lawsuit was filed on yesterday, and I suspect that we will have uh, uh, conversations very soon. But now, what it says in there that he believes because he was black, he was treated differently than if you were a white officer. When you hear that, what's your reaction? Well, I'm, I'm certainly not prepared to comment on that. Uh, uh, and uh, I would hope and trust uh, that uh, whenever an officer is out there, uh, that they're looking out for each other. That's, that's one of the oaths that they take. And so I expect that uh, we will get through that. Judge, is there anything new on the Facebook post on that Thursday in the police department? Uh, no, we're still working on that. That's uh, still uh, with uh, the Internal Affairs uh, Department, and I expect that uh, uh, they will uh, do a deliberate uh, uh, job with respect to making sure that we get it right. That is not something that I'm aware of or have been involved in any discussions no, about. Okay. okay. There's, there's legislation in the Board of Aldermen about to put the water production back on the ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, if it comes to you, how would you vote? I mean, uh, how, would, how would you, uh, would you sign it or not? So I have not changed my mind. I was one of the primary sponsors of the bill uh, back in 2012 that went on the ballot in 2012. Uh, Seventy-some percent of the voters in the city of St. Louis voted reduce the Board of Aldermen from 28 to 14. I continue to support that. No, I, not that I'm aware of. I, and certainly that would uh, not be some, anything that I would support. You know, pride is... Um, well, the Blues Parade was pretty good, let's face it. But the Pride Parade is really one of the very best parades we have here. I've, I've been in it many years. And, uh, no, we, we welcome the, the Pride Parade here. I mean, our approach is much more uh, collaborative here and to, to resolve differences of opinion through conversation. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you.